The Chicago Bears make a move at quarterback. Let's talk about it. What is up, everybody? It's JT Sports. I am back to you guys with another NFL free agency news update. Before I get into it, make sure that if you haven't already, that you like the video and subscribe to the channel because I upload NFL videos and NFL content daily. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and hit the bell icon so you get alerted every time I upload a new video so you don't miss the breaking free agency news. So, the Chicago Bears sign quarterback Andy Dalton to a one year deal worth $10 million. Now, for Chicago Bears fans, this pretty much isn't that big of a surprise. There has been rumors ever since free agency started, not even when free agency really officially started a day ago, but dating like a month ago that there was a strong chance that the Chicago Bears could sign Andy Dalton, and now that's coming into fruition. And look, Andy Dalton last year for Dallas played like how you expect the backup quarterback to play. He threw for 2,170 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. So when you look at Andy Dalton and what he's bringing to the Chicago Bears, okay, I think you can make the argument that Andy Dalton is a slight upgrade from Mitchell Trubisky now I was just going back and forth with my sweet mate and he doesn't really think that Andy Dalton is all that big of an upgrade from Mitchell Trubisky which I can understand why people may feel like that you know but I do feel like with Andy Dalton that quarterback he gives the Bears just a little bit slider a by a slighter chance of winning than what you do get with Mitchell Trubisky so I mean, this is just a one-year deal, so it's not like the Bears can't make a trade and they can't draft a quarterback, anything like that. This is just a one-year deal in case you're not able to find a quarterback in the upcoming NFL draft, which when you look at the draft position that the Chicago Bears currently have right now, unless they trade up, they really don't have a shot at getting one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL draft. The probably more realistic options at quarterback in the upcoming 2021 NFL draft for the Chicago Bears is either Mac Jones or Kyle Trask and Mac Jones most likely will be gone probably I don't see Matt Jones dropping out of the top 15 now Kyle Trask could be a realistic option I do like Kyle Trask a lot I feel like a lot of people are really underrating Kyle Trask but for the time being I think that Andy Dalton is a good bridge quarterback to get you by the year you know you can be a playoff team with Andy Dawn if you give Andy Dawn talent he can you know have some success so like the Ron Fitzpatrick signing that Washington made yesterday I feel like this is a similar signing Andy Dawn isn't in to be your franchise quarterback he's just a temporary solution until you're able to find your long-term answer at the QB position. So I understand Bears fans may be upset with the signing, you know, because a lot of Bears fans have been reading the reports that Chicago is really interested in making a Russell Wilson trade happen and things like that. But I didn't really believe that Russell Wilson was going to get traded. And I didn't believe that Chicago even had the necessary pieces to make a Russell Wilson trade happen or Deshaun Watson trade happen. So if you're Chicago Bears fan I know you're probably a little bit frustrated with the signing of Andy Dalton but really there was really no better options out there and you had to find somebody who was an upgrade from Trubisky and Andy Dalton is just a little bit of a slide upgrade over Mitchell Trubisky but I mean, he's only there for a year. He's not there to be your long-term answer at quarterback. So if you're a Bears fan, I know you may be a little bit frustrated, but just look at Andy Dawn as just being a bridge quarterback to get you through the hump until you're able to find your franchise guy. And if you do find your franchise guy, if you do trade up to the draft, you know, and maybe get a guy like a Justin Fields or a Trey Lance or a Mac Jones, then you have a guy, Andy Dawn, there who's just there to start for a couple of weeks or start for a year until that next young quarterback is ready to step up and and become the franchise guy and I think that Chicago has learned from their mistake last time not being patient though with Mitchell Trubisky and you threw Mitchell Trubisky into the fire too early and he wasn't really all that ready so for Chicago I think Andy Dawn is a good bridge quarterback to get you through the season until you're able to find that franchise guy rather it be in the free agency or rather it be in the draft or whatnot but 
the signing of Andy Dalton, you know, I don't think is, you know, great. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's okay. It was necessary. You had to find the option at quarterback, and it probably wasn't no better quarterbacks on the free agency market aside from Andy Dalton. Now, you did have the Jameis Winston speculation, but he re-signed with New Orleans, so that pretty much was the best available quarterback out there. So, Jameis Winston's off the market. Ryan Fitzpatrick's off the market. So, now you either have Andy Dalton on Jacoby Brissett because Tyrod Taylor just signed with the Houston Texans. So, the Andy Dalton signing with Chicago... I mean, I don't think it's bad. I mean, he has shown if you give him talent and you give him a good run game and good off the line, he is more than capable of, you know, keeping you afloat, really. I'm not saying he's going to win you games or anything like that, but I just like the word it as he can keep you afloat. Meanwhile, while you find your franchise quarterback. And for Chicago, you have a pretty good group of, well, let me take that back. You do have a pretty good defense. Okay, that's one thing. You do have a pretty good halfback in David Montgomery who should have a really big year in 2021 because he kind of got off to a slow start in 2020, but he took off the last couple of games of the 2020 season. So for Chicago, you need to continue to make some improvements on the off the line, find a way to improve the wide receiving position if Allen Robinson does decide to leave or we don't know what's going to happen with Allen Robinson. But for Chicago, as long as you're able to surround Andy Dawn with some pieces on offense he can keep you afloat and i didn't say he's going to be able to win you games anything like that keyword keep you afloat so let me know what you guys think about this signing down in the comment section down below make sure that you guys like the video subscribe to the channel for more nfl videos and content and thanks for watching